hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to create expanders inside our xamarin forms application so this app will basically represent static controls that will be added inside our expanders in next tutorials we are going to create dynamic expanders inside our xamarin forms application so stay tuned at first we are going to add xamarin forms version 4.6 and above inside our xamarin forms application so your xamarin forms version may be greater so let's add this device flag that is expander experimental inside our app.xaml.cs then we need to add expander control that is inbuilt inside our xamarin forms version 4.5 and above so inside the header section of expander we are going to add one frame and then you can design anything inside the header section now let's add a label inside the frame I'll give expander margin as 30 comma 0 from left and right so horizontal option is start and expand then we have completed the header section of our expander whenever that header section is expanded then we will follow the body section this is our body section that is grid which has three columns now I'm going to add grid.column0 with image source now let's add image source you can take any static image files so I have my static image that I have downloaded so I'll take this image and then put it inside resources folder of iOS and drawable folder of Android then let's call that static image in next tutorial we are going to embed some dynamic contents inside our expander so don't forget to watch my next tutorial so let's add some static image inside the expander so these are my three static image that I'm going to add so the first image will be held on column 0 followed by 1 and 2 that's all so whenever that level is pressed then this will call the body section that is three images so let's make height and width as 180 you can just play around with those values too so let's put that expander height to 360 that's all now we can run the project okay if i click on it then we'll get our expanded value that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials